The other thing I'll start every session with, which is, you know, I guess a, quite standard, is uh, effect sends. Um, you know, I probably change these less than I really should, um, but you do just get used to sound, the sound of certain reverbs. And, you know, usually I, I think rather than kind of going through, you know, dozens of reverbs, I sort of take the philosophy of just having three or four, you know, at the ready in, you know, any given session, and you just know the sound of those, you know. Um, so for every session, I'm going to have, you know, a plate, I'm going to have this EMT 250, uh, what I call big verb, which is a much larger verb, you know, a bunch of choruses, a bunch of delays, 16th, 8th, 4th, uh, dot delay, which I call the edge delay, which is like an eighth and a dotted eighth in stereo. <clears throat> and then I'm going to have the same kind of setup for my backing vocals, same kind of setup for my lead vocals. So this is sort of stuff that's just in there. It means when I'm uh, here in, let's say, a guitar channel, which looks like this, um, straight away all of my things that I'm most likely to use on a guitar channel are there. So I may have more than eight send effects, but I know on a guitar channel I'm most likely to use these. Of course, there's times when I'll have, you know, insert effects, compressors and whatnot, but for the most part, that will get me going really quickly. Um, in addition to that, I'm going to have my EQs kind of set up in a certain way so that they're ready to use. And I mean, primarily, you know, I'm always going to low cut things, so that is always set to that. Um, and these are always going to be routed in a particular way as well. So as soon as somebody wants to record a guitar, um, that's there. I have it set up with a DI so I can record a you know, DI guitar immediately as well. And it's properly named. 